hello there. It is now afternoon on Monday and I am still in my jammies. If you tuned in earlier and you saw my Ask Me Anything shout out this morning, you know that I injured my back. Not bad, I've done it before. This is something, you know, it's like it flares up every once in a while and I just take a muscle relaxant and lay flat for a couple of days and then it, it's better. Uh, doesn't happen very often, maybe once a year, but you know, sometimes it just does that. So I have my trusty little heating pad on my back right now and I did take a muscle relaxant, so I'm feeling a little uh, boneless, a little floppy, but uh, the muscles relaxed. Let's get to the question, shall we? I am going to take these in order and I'm going to just you guys gave me a lot of questions, so I, I imagine I'm gonna have a few days worth of answers. So I will get done today, as much as I can get done, and then we'll continue tomorrow and uh, get to know one another. Okay, I am scrolled to put them all in order and I'm taking them, I went down, can you tell I took a, <laughs> can you tell I took a muscle relaxer? I'm a little floppy, okay. First one, probably that fall during weeding didn't help your back. Absolutely. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Didn't mean to fall. Didn't mean to fall twice, but I did after falling twice go, I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> so at least, you know, I learn. Next question. When did you start your YouTube channel and why? That is a terrific question. As you know, I used to sell blenders. I worked for both Blendtec and Vitamix. When I worked for Blendtec, they were doing these crazy videos where they put all sorts of things in the blender, you know, like iPhones, stuff that didn't belong in a blender to show the power of the motor. And that was great. Those videos went viral. But for people who owned the blender, Whenever they would log on to, you know, like look for recipes and stuff, they, there weren't any. So I basically just started making videos to share with people who had purchased the blender from me more recipes. And that's all my YouTube channel was from, I think I started it in 2007 to 2015. That's all my YouTube channel was. And I had about 800 subscribers that I got over. Wow, subscribers was hard to say. My tongue is relaxed. Um, there were about 800 subscribers when I changed the content of my channel. I only had a few videos and, and they were not terribly popular and not great recipes because I'm not the best cook in the world. But in 2015, when I made the decision to bleach my hair and then dye it gray and then let it grow in, I started, I did that because, well, I had researched many different ways to go gray and there was not a lot of information at that time. So I thought if this works, other people are gonna wanna know about it. Let me just record it on video and put it out there so that other people get that information. Three months went by and then I, I kind of forgotten about that video and then I went to check it out and I saw it had 25,000 views. So I realized, wow, this is something that, it's not just me. A lot of people wanna know how to deal with gray hair. Now, during that time, I was living for a few months with gray hair and I realized that my makeup palette had changed and my colors that I needed to wear had changed. And what exact eyebrow color should I use? And I got magazines and I looked at the magazines and I realized there was nobody with silver hair. This was, what, five years ago? Yeah, 2000, it was the end of 2015, yeah, five years ago. And there's a lot more information out there now than there was then. But looking through magazines and not seeing anybody with silver or white or gray hair made me realize that if I'm looking for it, you're looking for it, other people are looking for it. So why don't I create content so that other silver haired, gray haired, white haired women can see me putting on makeup and I won't always be perfect and I'm gonna make mistakes and that's okay because other people make mistakes and we're not all perfect. Uh, 
most YouTubers seem to like to put up, especially in the beauty scene, they like to put up perfect tutorials where they show you everything perfectly. And as you learned by now, I make lots of mistakes. But I think that's good information to have because we're all gonna make mistakes and it's better to know how to correct it. So that is long story endless of how I got started with my YouTube channel. Definitely feeling that muscle relaxant. I, when they say don't drive or operate heavy machinery, yeah, I would not want to be driving or operating, operating heavy machinery right now, clearly. If you could play a character on a soap opera, what kind of character would you play? Oh gosh, a soap opera would be super fun. They're so kind of campy and over the top. I would definitely be um, a complex, nuanced, villainous. Yeah, that would be my choice. Yeah, I, 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 I like playing the villain. It's, it's fun. It's much more interesting than playing the hero. But you want to have it nuanced. You want to have levels to it so that they can be sympathetic sometimes, a little bit, maybe. That's what, that's what I would go for. What is your favorite eyeshadow looking on a regular basis? Also, what and how do you recommend meeting eligible people to date over 50? Oh gosh, dating over 50. Oh, dating at any age, but it is ridiculously hard now. I don't have any good advice on dating. I lucked out meeting Howard. I was on the dating apps. I dated people. I meet a lot of people. There's a lot of losers out there. I, I can't say that there's any one great way. Don't be afraid of using the apps. I did meet Howard on an app on Bumble. Um, but I also had a lot of losers on Bumble. I met a lot of them. I wish I had really wonderful words of wisdom on how to find somebody. It's hard enough to even just find a friend over 50 because we're all so caught up in our lives. Man, yeah. I wish I had better. Uh, my favorite eyeshadow look, you know, I am the laziest person in the world when it comes to eyeshadow. I really, my favorite eyeshadow is just one shade. And it's usually in that Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. There is a shade called Limit and there is a shade called Nooner. Uh, Limit is a little bit lighter than Nooner, but they are both a very soft sort of pinky brown and they are matte. And that's, that's my favorite. I just like a little bit right up in here, uh, just to give the, the eye a little depth. And then, you know, a little smudge along the liner and some mascara. That's my favorite everyday eye makeup look. Super simple, can do it blindfolded. Well, not blindfolded because you need access, but I can do it without looking. Best advice you've ever received don't argue with trolls. You're never going to win. It's hard. It's a hard one. We all do this. Facebook, Instagram, we, it's, the people who, when I say troll, I mean those people who never have anything positive to say about anything. You know, it's one thing, you don't have to love everything. Obviously, we're all going to have difference of opinions on things. And that's great. But you know those people who are like, they just, they need to push everybody down to make themselves feel a little more important. Yeah, best advice I ever got was just ignore them because you can't win. And that's good advice, I think. Ooh. Yeah, my brain is a little foggy. Loving your updates on the new house and especially interested in the Zen garden room outside. Have you made any more plans for that room? Also, how are the dogs and cats liking the new house? And hope your back is better soon. Thank you, me too. It will be, it'll be fine tomorrow. I'm sure of it. Um, I have so much excitement for the Zen Garden. It's not gonna get tackled anytime soon. For one thing, 
it's right behind the garage and it's got back wall of the garage is the main wall of it. And I feel like I need a big piece of art there. I don't want a Buddha. That's been done so much. If you're Buddhist, awesome, great, rock on. 20 years ago when they first started making these big Buddha statues and you know people putting them in their yards and gardens and then it was great but it's been around for 20 years and and I might, might want something a little fresher I'm looking forward to going to um, architectural salvage places I I love architectural salvage yards I can spend an afternoon prowling through trunk and be very very content so I think I want something really big and funky and I don't know what it is and it's going to, I will know it when I see it, but right now we're in quarantine so I'm not going shopping. So the best I can do is just keep it tidy and maintain it. Uh, I do plan on putting probably a, a, a Scotch moss or Irish moss probably between the pavers maybe creeping time, but I just don't think there's enough sun for it. Uh, I, I plan on putting that in there to get that green down at the bottom, but why should I go out and garden in the rain? I'm gonna wait until it's nice weather because gardening should be a pleasant experience and not a chore. So I'm not in a hurry. It's raining right now, it's icky. I, don't really go shopping. I only leave the house once a week to just go check my mailbox. Um, so I'll get to it. I'm excited about it. It's going to be fun, but it's not going to happen real soon. It's, it's going to be a while. There are many projects to tackle. Do you take more time to really appreciate nature around you now that we're all forced to stay at home? I know I have, and I can only thank this pandemic for it. Something good coming out of something so bad. Absolutely. I, uh, I am one of those people, I love being in nature. There is something so soothing to my soul about finishing the day, sitting outside. I love sitting outside, I love being outside, reading a book, having coffee, hanging out with a friend, hanging out alone. I love being out in nature and I have really felt the lack for the last five years. I've really been frustrated not having a garden, not having a yard. So I, I just feel very blessed and lucky that we moved when we did. I would be going bonkers if all I had was a little tiny balcony. Or gosh, back in my Studio City place, I didn't even have a balcony. I didn't even have a space where I could grow the plant that needed the least little bit amount of light because my apartment was sort of like tucked back in a corner. Uh, very, very grateful that I have all this nature around me now. Do you have children? No, I do not. I tried for many years back in the day, but I was never able to conceive and it was painful for a long time and now I'm at the point where I feel like maybe that's for the best. But no, no children. Does your house have a view of the Hollywood sign? And what shade of the Chanel foundation do you use? Uh, love you and love your videos, you're the bomb. Thank you, that's so sweet. We do, I love you, I love you bunches right back. Um, do we have a view of the Hollywood sign? We do not. There are many hills and many canyons and we actually face north, so Hollywood sign faces kind of south. I see it when I'm driving, when I when I'm driving away from my home. I will pass, I will come around a curve and then I see the Hollywood sign. So I do get to see it every day. It's near me, but it's not right in front of me. Uh, and let me go find my Chanel and see what shade that is. My Chanel foundation is number 20 in beige. Have you ever been to Ireland? 
No, I have not, and I would love to visit Ireland one of these days. It is definitely on my bucket list of places to visit. Absolutely beautiful. Has Howard met your parents and or have you met his? Yes, Howard has met my parents. He has met my aunt and uncle and my nephew and we just, we have the best time at family visits. Every holiday, we all get together, we sit around the table. He fits right in. Uh, the very first time we were all sitting at dinner, he went, oh my gosh, I am sitting here with a bunch of smart asses. And I said, that's right, baby, you found your tribe. We all get along splendidly, it's wonderful. I have met Howard's mother, his father passed some years ago. I've met Howard's mother and she is a lovely woman. When do you plan to retire from acting? That is a good question, I don't know. I don't know when I plan to retire. Um, you know, it's interesting, <clears throat> I don't ever, I don't desire retiring from acting. I, I don't want to, I love it. But I did have an incident on set. My eyes water now. For some reason, when I turned 50, my eyes became extra sensitive and they water like crazy. So if I have a bright light and I'm really super light sensitive, I just have tears running down my face. And I was on set for, um, anime crimes division we were shooting at the beach and i was facing the ocean and i had the reflection i had so much light coming in my face i'm trying to deliver lines and i had tears running down my face and it occurred to me this might be the reason i have to quit i may end up reaching a point where i have to leave the acting profession the profession that i love because of something like my eyes watering and that means I could never have, you know, trust to be on camera and have lights in my eyes and have them not water. So I have no idea, but no plans to retire anytime soon. Do you like cooking? We can find love at 50 years. I don't like cooking at all. I really don't. I am so bad about it. I, I will take a bag of peas and throw it in the microwave and throw a little salt on it and call it done. So not a cook. Yes, we can find love at 50. I found love. I found the love of my life at age 51. He is amazing, but I kissed a lot of frogs on the way to finding him. What's in your fridge? Well, let's go take a look. say hi? He does not want to say hi. Okay, where is my... Don't put your finger over the camera, Monique. Okay, the fridge. What is in my fridge? We have Howard's Monster, Howard's Soda, Howard's La Croix, Berries, Howard's Yogurt. Whipping cream for some recipe. Leftover taco meat from last night's dinner. Lime. Bread. Mint tea that I make for us. My coffee creamer. Refri uh, peanut butter, sour cream, beer, open can of cat food, because Colby's always hungry. Leftover rice from Chinese food the other day. My snacking carrots that I just reach into when I'm hungry, I just reach in the bag and grab carrots. Some pickles, uh, leftover that I need to get rid of. Dog food, seeded good bread, and eggs, and oh. Hearts of Palm. Here we have sweet green peppers, asparagus, tortillas, salami, yikes, more salami, and bacon. Turkey, Howard's cheese, Howard's cheese, smoked salmon, which goes on our salads that we have most of the time, and Crescent rolls. Don't know how long these have been here, but uh, one of these days we'll open them. Lots of produce. Uh, we have a salad a couple of nights a week for dinner, so we've got lettuce, 
dill, carrots, uh, cilantro, bell pepper, chives. We've got lots of produce. We always have a lot of produce. We also always have a lot of wine because ugh, pandemic, pandemic wine, wine in the door, wine that I didn't finish, uh, lots of condiments. Really, I don't think you need me to list the condiments. Okay, and that is my fridge. Freezer is every bit as exciting. If it's got cheese on it, you know it's not for me. Mostly a lot of ice packs. So that is what's in my fridge. Hi there, greetings from Scotland where it's currently not raining. My question, what are you doing with the basement studio? Is it gonna be a guest room too? Or are your contractors working through this awful scary time? Isolating for at least 12 weeks, so really enjoying your videos and envying your lovely garden room. Thank you. Um, the contractors have been working through this time because they've been underneath the house and they dug a huge pit and they had to finish the work or the house would not have been safe. Uh, they have finished the majority of the work. We're waiting now for city officials to uh, come and, and approve everything and then it will will be done. But it's it's mostly done today because of the rain. They're not working, so they'll be back at it once it's not raining. But we're almost done. What do I plan on doing with the studio? The studio is gonna be a guest room as well, absolutely. It's, it's going to be a space that is many, many different things. It's gonna be a guest room. It is gonna be my studio. It's gonna be storage for a lot of things. It's gonna be, you know, we'll have a space there for working out. We should have a little workout space in there. And um, yeah, guest room and, and just another, when we do get around to entertaining, it'll be just another space for people to flow in and around the party and just, but it's gonna be many, many, many uses. It's going to be my office where I work from, where I edit, as well as the studio where I shoot videos. Um, yeah, that's it. But yeah, guests, guests are gonna be sleeping there. First thing we need to do is get a bathroom down there. There is no bathroom down there. And the estimates that we have gotten so far are not good. We need to find better prices because it's just not gonna happen until we find a better price. <laughs> we kind of maxed out our dollars on this house. Um, if you never got another acting job, what would you like to do instead? Well, if I never got another acting job, I think I'd just make YouTube videos. Ah, what does Howard do? Howard is an attorney. A few garden questions. So many amazing trees in your new garden. Which tree is your favorite and what are your favorite flowers? If you don't have them in your garden, will you plant them? Great question. I am not an arborist, so... Sorry. Oh, Siki's watching a little squirrel. Get a little squirrel watch. Yeah. Hi, baby. Yeah, easily distracted. Um, I don't really know what a lot of the trees are. There are trees that I was told are jacaranda trees, and if they are truly jacaranda trees and they get those beautiful purple flowers, then those are my favorite. I'll let you know in a year when I've like watched all of the trees going through what they go through in a year and, and let you know which one I like the best then. My favorite flower is the delphinium, and I probably will not be planting that here. I'm really trying to plant water-wise plants, and the Delphi's do need a bit of water. Uh, we're going with mostly just natural, native plants, things that we 
can rely on the rain rather than having to water it all the time because California does get very dry and we often have drought conditions. How's your foot ankle after having that boot on for so long? I really felt for you. Thank you. My foot's doing fine. It needed the cast. It is feeling 100%. Every once in a while, a little twinge, but it feels really good. Very, very glad that I was in that cast for way too long, but it did fix it. How did you really, truly, deep down know that Howard was the one? I had a vision board and I had everything on my vision board except for the man that I wanted. I detailed out everything that I wanted that relationship to have, but I never found a picture of somebody that I could see myself with. When I was on Bumble and I was scrolling through and I actually opened up my search parameters and started searching in a wider driving radius than I had been before. And I saw him and I'm like, you know, that's the guy I wanted on my vision board. I just, I knew looking at him that he was exactly perfect for me. And then we talked on the phone and I really enjoyed our conversation. And we talked on the phone again and again. And we talked on the phone for what, six weeks before, six, maybe eight weeks before we ever met in person? And I was already gaga over him. I really enjoyed his sense of humor. I thought, if this guy even looks remotely like his picture, I'm in. And he looked exactly like his pictures. So, I just, it's such a rush of emotion for him and, and caring for him and caring about his well-being. I just, I knew, I just knew. Second question, if I'm allowed, she said. California takes a lot of criticism from mainstream America. What would you say to those who are critical, critical of Californians and the California lifestyle to be more open-minded about the state? What are the Golden State's best features? You know, I was born and raised in California, and I never thought of California as being really different from the rest of the country. And then I moved to Arizona, and I lived in Arizona for three years, and I hated it. That's when I really realized that I am a Californian at heart. I don't know why people have a hard time with California. California lifestyle is so open and loving and free, and maybe other places just don't feel that. They seem to resent us, what we have. The Golden State has so much. It's such an amazing place. It's not just LA, it's not just San Francisco, it's not just San Diego. We have mountains and snow and surfing. I mean, just the, the, just the land, the weather, the, the, I mean, I look out on this beauty every day. It's just, California is amazing. I think other states must be jealous and, and we all know people who are jealous of other people and they let it come out as a negative criticism. Oh, she should flaunt her figure like that. Oh, she should just put her hair back. It shouldn't be like that. You know, that judgmental. So, I don't know, maybe that's it. I think I just heard the alarm. I think Howard's home. So, I'm gonna stop the camera right now and, well, I'm gonna go check. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. I'm making a video, so let me just sign off real quick. <laughs> and on that note my love is home so i'm going to sign off for today 
but we barely got started on the questions and I will continue answering tomorrow. And I love you bunches. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I'll talk to you very soon. Yeah.